In this video, we're going to look at installing the eSword Bible Software Program for Windows and then how to install the Sunset Complete Bible Library that also is available for eSword. We start out by being on the home screen of our computer. Now we go to the eSword website, e-sword.net, and that will bring up the screen you're seeing here. You can see some of the extra things that are available, but we want to click on the place where it says eSword Free Bible Study for the PC. This brings up a second screen, and this version is eSword version 13.0.0. Later, newer versions will come out, but what we're talking about here will still work. So we click on that, and it's going to save it to our downloads folder on our computer. So we say save. You can see at the bottom of the screen it's now saved it. Now we're going to click on it to have it install it. It's preparing to install. It'll ask us a question or two. Say we accept the license and next. Notice where it's going to install it. C program files x86 slash eSword. That will be important later. Now it's finished. We'll close our browser. Well, first of all, we see that they do ask if you would like to donate to help support this ministry. Even though it costs nothing to use eSword, they do accept donations, and I recommend you consider doing that. Now we're going to click on eSword and see what was installed to begin with. When the eSword opens up, if it doesn't fill up your whole screen, you may want to go up in the upper right corner of your uh, computer screen and click on the Maximize window. Now you see what we have here in our Bible window. We have both the King James Version as well as the King James Version plus Strong's Numbers. And we have the uh, Commentary window. Here's the various menu items that are available we'll talk about later in class. If you want to choose a certain Bible book to go to and open up in the Bible window, you click there. First the book, then the chapter, then the verse. We already have John 3.16 open. Here is the commentary window. Then at the bottom right now is the dictionaries window. And then a place where you can take notes within the program itself if you wish to do that. Right now, there's only one Bible actually installed, and that's either the King James Version or the King James Version, plus the little numbers beside each word that tells us what the Strong's number is. Strong's is a system that gives you either the Hebrew or the Greek of each Bible word. Over in Commentaries, you can see that. Here in Dictionaries, we just have two, the Strong's uh, Concordance Dictionary and then a Smith's Bible Dictionary. Again, most of these things we will cover in class. Now let's uh, close eSword for right now. And now let's go and download the eSword Complete Bible Library. Here's my email, which has my link where I can download the Sunset Complete Bible Library from a source called Dropbox. You can see the number of different books that are listed here. Altogether, there are around 80 books published by Sunset that all will be installed inside of eSword. We click on the download button. Again, it's going to go into the downloads folder. It will create a zip file, which means all those books will be just put together as one file to start with. We look at the bottom of the screen and you can see it downloading. When it finishes, we'll minimize 
this screen, we'll go to our Downloads folder. And there it is, eSource Complete Bible Library zip. We're going to right click on that and select Extract All. That will bring all those individual files back out of that zip file and put them into a folder. It'll be called eSword Sun Sunset Complete Bible Library. Now here we are looking inside of that, that folder that has all of our resources for eSword. What we're going to do is now look at where we're going to put them. So you go over to the left side of your the window that's open, go to Local Disk, click on Program Files, parentheses x86, and then there you'll see the eSword folder. Now we're going to go back to the right side of the screen, select all of these items, you can do it one of several different ways, but once they're all selected, select Copy. Come over and open the eSword folder. Right click over on the right hand side and say Paste. And it will paste a copy of all of them into the eSword folder. Now you can see all those that are highlighted are the ones we have just pasted in. We can close that window, close the Downloads folder window, go open eSword again, and now we'll see our resources installed in eSword. Now we didn't install any Bibles or dictionaries, only commentaries and resource books. So that's where we'll be looking at this moment. There's the SIBI commentaries now in eSword, the College Press set of commentaries, Jim McGuigan's Seven Commentary Set, as well as uh, Bob Utley's uh, cross-referencing uh, set. We can go up to Tools and go into Reference Library, and here we'll see a great number of our study guides and other textbooks that aren't in the commentary category, but which still are a part of eSword. We see these SG, all of those stand for study guides. We have 45 of them that have now been installed in eSword. These are also available in print over in the Resource Center if you wanted a printed copy of them. Here's other books like Bible History 2, Biblical Interpretation, Excellence in Leadership, and more. All of these are here in the Resource window. And you can move back and forth once you've selected any of those resource books by clicking on the left-hand side to the various chapters of that book. And you'll see here with Minor Prophets how it's opening up the different chapters on the various Minor Prophets. Coming back now to Main eSword window, let's go up and install some additional Bibles and some dictionaries. So we go to Download, Select Bibles. And here we'll first of all see over on the left-hand side of this window, under English, are free Bibles you can install into eSword. As you scroll further down, you'll see those that say Purchase, because you'll have to purchase a copy of the New American Standard Bible, for instance, or the New International Version, or the Message, or several others that are still under copyright, and the owners of them require us to pay for that. Now we can scroll back up to the free downloadable versions, and you can see there's quite a number, though you don't want very many of them. Just click on English Standard Version. If you look towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see it installing East SV into eSword. Now let's pick another one. Maybe we'll take the American Standard Version, because occasionally we have a teacher at Sunset that still uses the ASV as their Bible, and so you'll want to have that as well. Now moving over to dictionaries, we'll do something of the same thing. I recommend Hastings Dictionary of the Bible and the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. And then for Greek word definitions, let's choose Mount's Concise Greek English Dictionary.
in Thayer's Greek definitions. Now when we close this window, it will tell us that we'll have to restart eSword before those will appear in eSword. So let's close it. And now we'll start eSword again. And now you'll see under the Bible category, there's the ASV, the ESV, and an ESV with some uh, word helps. That's what the plus stands for right next to ESV. And if you will look down in the dictionary window, just below the Bible window, you will see the various additions that we made there and Mounts and Hastings and ISBE.